So you're looking to improve your aim in Valorant. Well, luckily I have you covered because I'm going to be showing you the best drills you need to be using in order to improve your aim. When it comes to aiming in Valorant, it's crucial that you build the muscle memory to tap on heads every single time so that you get more kills without losing gunfights. If you can compete and try your best at these drills every single day for like 30 minutes a day, then you will be able to get godlike aim instantly. So let's go ahead and get into how you can get your aim to be much better. So we're going to go ahead and enter the range. I do not want to exit Valorant because I feel like we're already given so many great aiming training drills that we can do right inside the range. So we are going to be doing everything in the range. No other programs required. So right away, I like to just pick Sova. It really doesn't matter because we're not going to actually be using any of the abilities but before we get into any of the drills we need to go over how to find your perfect aim sense in valorant so you might be asking how do i do this and we got you covered so just pull up this practice it's going to spawn a ton of bots and then you're just going to try to flick to all the different bots and while you're doing this you're going to see if you're under flicking or over flicking on your designated bots that you're trying to aim for so as you can see, I've built the muscle memory up to where I can pretty much flick because I've been playing on this sense for a good bit. But if you are under flicking, then consider increasing. We're going to use these small ones. Try not to use the big boxes because these go up 0 0.01 and then the big ones are going to go 0 0.1 and it is drastic how much 0 0.1 can like really change your sense. So just go up a bit at a time, maybe like two at a time. See if that still feels better. And one tip that I'm going to give you guys is stay with one sense. Don't aim train on a sensitivity that you don't like because you're going to build bad muscle memory and it's going to be very hard to correct. So I used to play on like super high sense and then I was like, uh, I probably need to lower it because in Valorant, low sense is really good. It teaches you to have good crosshair placement because if you have your crosshair up here you and you need to hit the heads, you're not going to be able to flick with a high sense or with a lower sense. So you're going to want to go ahead. And for me, I liked going with a low sense. But if you want to be able to flick really fast, then you're going to go higher sense. But this is what you're going to want to do. Just spend like 10, 20 minutes trying to find that perfect sense going up and down. So while doing this, just be sure that you're in the game mindset. Don't go here just being all lazy and going, okay, we got to just tap the heads. Be like, okay, I'm tapping every single head as fast as possible, trying not to miss, and then just correct your sensitivity. But now let's go ahead and get into our drills. So just to warm up, you're going to want to head and go to practice. All you need to do is just tap on heads just for a bit. Just warm up those muscles before we get into the actual aim training. So once you feel confident with that, we're going to go ahead and get rid of practice. And we're going to open F3 to change our shooting range settings. So what you're going to want to do is start off by eliminating 50 opponents. And you're going to want to do this with the classic pistol, the ghost, and the sheriff. So what you're going to want to do, you just press start and then the bots are going to spawn with the classic pistol. It will not be a one tap headshot. So you have to tap a bit. You just have to hit them twice in the head, but that's okay. We're going to go through the list that I just gave you classic ghost and sheriff, and then you're going to move on to eliminate a hundred opponents. And for this, you're going to go with the bulldog, the guardian, the phantom and the vandal. You really want to focus on the Phantom and the Vandal here because these are the weapons you're going to want to use for those instant headshots. I guess you can use the Guardian if you like to use this in game. Try to focus this because the reason I don't like it is just because if you miss those shots, then you have to like, it takes a while to shoot again. But if you can hit your shots with this, it's going to be great. So just go through the list with all of those. I mainly like to use the Phantom right now just because I find it so satisfying how it shoots. But if you can get good with the Vandal and never miss a headshot, you're going to be able to rank up so fast in Valorant. So now we're going to move on to our sniper warmups. So for this, you're going to want to open your settings and you're going to choose a speed of either easy and medium. 
I'd recommend going medium speed with the Marshall. You're not going to really want to train the op because they have similar shootings. You just need to be scoped in with the Marshall in order to train that. So just press start and then we're just going to come stand back here and you see how it's like really fast. So if you're able to respond fast with the op, then you are good. But if not, just go ahead and change that setting to easy and you're going to be able to train your fast response time. And this is going to allow you to be way more responsive with the op. So now that we finished all of these drills, you can decide to use the Spectre, the Stinger and get a bit of SMG work. But honestly, I don't think that that's too worth. So we're gonna move on to this target. So for this, you're mainly gonna wanna focus on once again, the Vandal and the Phantom. I'd recommend the Vandal because we're gonna be using these distances and there is distance drop-offs with the phantom so you're going to be able to tell more with the vandal whenever you're hitting the headshots because the number that you hit the bot is going to go up by 156 so just like that but this is what we're going to be doing we're not going to be focusing on the target we're just going to be peeking around this corner keeping our keeping our crosshair on head level and just trying to strafe and hit it so another drill you can do come around this corner crouch and hit it and just spend a bit of time on this bot at the closest meter. Then you can back it up to 10 and you can keep on doing the strafing. So just go like this and just try to shoot every single time. And you're going to want to focus on whenever you're pressing A, you're pressing D. And then right as you press D, you want to shoot so that it's pretty accurate. So as you can see, like when I'm running, it's not going to be accurate at all. But as soon as I like press my D key whenever I'm pressing A to go left, it's gonna be accurate for a short period of time. So this is when you're gonna wanna fire that bullet. So we're gonna spend a bit of time here. You guys can just keep on backing it up. Once you get to like the 50 meters, I just like to stand back here and just practice, like you can scoot up even. I just like to practice tapping near the head and just getting a feel at where I need to aim because there's different distances on every single map. So if I know, I can like use my ping system and be like, well, so this is 50 right here. And in this situation, I know that I can just go to the aiming that I did right here. Just tapping those heads, letting the recoil go away. And it's as easy as that. That's all you really need to do here. Try to go through from, I'd say 10, 20s, a bit too close still. I'd back up to 30 and then 50. So these four, mainly five, if you want to get that SMG work, I guess you can practice peeking this corner, just spraying down, trying to get um, the damage to kill someone as fast as possible. So as long as you're hitting over 150, you're good. With the Spectre, I mean, you just have to hit them twice in order to get over 150. But after this, we can now move on to our next few drills. So we have two drills here. I really like to use the Phantom just because it's one of my favorite weapons. But what we're going to want to do is stand in between these, spray down one, spray down the other, flick to these, flick to that one. And then you can just keep on repeating this. Try to be even when it comes to um, like what direction you're going to. So for example, I just did that one twice. So now I'm going to go twice on the other way. You can see I'm not as trained on my left, but we can just keep on practicing it and that's how you're going to get better this other option you can do with these is flick in between them just like that then we can move over here just like that and then you just go back and forth so that's what i like to do regarding the drones but then if you look behind the drones we have even more drones flying this is how you can get good at tracking this is how you can get good at tracking. So as you can see, I just have my mouse right here. I'm trying to be as smooth as possible, just staying on that bot. If you have a higher sense, that's gonna be a bit harder because these do move a bit slow. But you can also just kind of back up because the further back you are, the harder it's going to be to track. So if you're using a Phantom or a Vandal, you're gonna be holding those longer range gunfights. So you wanna be further back because we're trying to make it seem like we're in a game to train our aim as if we were playing a game so that it's going to be easy to bring what we've learned into the actual game so make sure that it doesn't get cut off by that but that is all you want to do in this area and now we're going to go ahead and head over to the spot where you can practice planting the spike 
and defusing the spike. So once we get here, we're automatically going to be spawned into spike defuse. I recommend going to medium and then hard as soon as you learn a bit how to just aim for those heads. So choose a weapon that you want to do. If you're on medium, you can go ahead and use like the pistols and get good with them. One pistol that I really recommend you guys trying out is the sheriff because I've seen players just run around and then they can just tap the heads, tap the heads. And like they're not hitting any of my shots because they're on medium. So if you get onto a higher um, difficulty, you're automatically going to die if you peek out and you don't react soon enough. So using the sheriff, if you can get good aim and just keep on aiming for those heads, you're going to do amazing. So I really recommend giving this a fair aim training. But then once we want to go higher, we can just go to the hard difficulty. Go ahead and start. And this is when I'd recommend bringing out the Vandal and the Phantom. So here you can try to use your abilities a bit. So as you guys can see, I send that to find exactly where he is. I know that one person is going to spawn over there. The other person is somewhere over here. And as you see, I barely had any time to react, but this is going to get you to be better than a lot of players. When I start, when I used to do this a lot, it really helped me. So once again, I like just sending out this just to make sure that I don't have to check too many angles. So as you can see it's really difficult but anyways you're just going to want to do this i when i'm first getting into it because i haven't done this in a while i just like to go ahead and go on medium this way i can kind of just take my time lining up the shots see i'm not going to wide swing that when you're on hard it's going to teach you to check every single angle like really small like you just go like this to check your angles but once you do this enough, you're going to learn the common areas that they hold. And it's similar to in a game. You're going to find the common places players like to hold whatever bomb site you're trying to push onto, whenever they're defending, whenever they're attacking, you're going to learn and pick up on patterns of how they like to play. So that is it for spike defuse. Now we can go ahead and transition into how to defend the spike in a post plant situation. So all you got to do, press start. Go like this we're just gonna choose all of our um abilities once again just gotta check every angle this is going to be similar to ascent the map ascent is just like this so you just gotta train like this some players like to play there but there's only going to be two when you're planting then after you plant three are gonna show up so i like to come back here this is a common place i like to sit you can also go ahead and sit right here. So as you can see, you kill the three and you're good to go. Once again, that was on medium. Hard is a lot harder. And then you can also even turn infinite ammo off. So this is what I like to do to wrap things up with this area. And then I like to head back to the main range area. And you guys probably can guess what we're gonna do we're gonna go back to the bots we're gonna get some final aim training with these four weapons if you guys don't like to use the bulldog and don't think that it's worth then don't i'd much rather see players get good with a phantom or a vandal instead of a bulldog and then also the guardians in there as well i'm still have mixed feelings of the guardian ever since its um price got reducted so or, since its price got reduced so we're just going to have to wait and see how this weapon pans out, if it's a good weapon or not. You guys can let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it. But try to really work your aim on the Phantom and the Vandal for these. So here is the final drill that I want you guys to do. Go ahead and open your settings and make sure that you're on the speed of hard. It's not going to be fun at first. But you're going to be able to really get your reaction time down. So just try to flick and hit the targets. As you guys can see, it's very hard to do while talking, so you're really going to want to focus in here. Just play some music, jam out. Try to focus as much as possible. If this is too hard for you, I recommend keep on trying it. Do it for a few rounds. You're automatically going to see improvement. Like when I first did the hard mode, it was super hard. And I just wanted to switch right away. But if you can keep on doing it, like 10 is not that great of a score. You're going to be able to find yourself getting like 15 every single time. And one thing I like to do is challenge myself. I go down the list and I'm like, okay, I just got 10 with that. I got to beat it. 
Let's try to get 11 this time. And of course, I'm going to miss every single shot. So I'm under flicking. So it might be a problem with my sense or it's just I, I haven't trained in a while. So that is the last drill that you need to do. And then after this, go ahead and just load into an actual game and have some fun with Valorant. You are aim training to try to get good at the game, but just don't take it too serious. It is a game at the end of the day. So hopefully this aim guy did help you out. And if it did, be sure to subscribe with notifications on because we're helping you get better at Valorant. Thank you so much for watching all the way through this video. I'll see you all in the next one.